Never had that happen before. Bill the Drone Reviewer here. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The Femi X8 SE 2020 has been a fun drone to fly. I have really enjoyed it. However, something's come up lately that is a serious enough issue that I'm going to be emailing Femi support. Now, I have four clips that I want to play for you. Now, let's go ahead and roll the first clip right now. Let's take it out a little bit here and see what we get. Well, it's not bad if I'm looking at it. It's just off just a little bit. Things looking pretty good here, actually. Actually, that horizon looks looks pretty good. So I'm gonna say all in all, it's it's not too bad here. Gonna head to the edge of the lake and then just bring her back here. Right around 100 feet altitude. Approaching the edge of the lake. Okay, evidently I must have hit return. Okay, there I'm getting. Um, all right, that was interesting. Never had that happen before. And I lost my FPV there for a second. Very interesting. All right, we're going to do a return. All in all, the horizon looks pretty good here, so I'm going to give that a, an A on, on the horizon. It is sweltering out here today. It's probably in the mid to upper 90s. It is just absolutely, I am standing in the shade. It is too hot to stand in the sun right now. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the pitch of the gimbal. Let's see what we get here. like it's going to come near to the uh, hot tub is what I'm taking. And that wind is really moving it around here, guys. <laughs> and it may move it on to the pad, I don't know. Okay, we got two of four on the pad, so I'm going to call that, call that a, a, a victory here. Okay, the next flight that I took is clip number two, and let's go ahead and roll that clip right now. Okay, we'll let it get up to its 13.1 feet there. It's pretty still tonight, so we're going to give it a second here. 
go ahead and start recording. We are recording. Get it up to about a hundred feet. So we can take a quick trip out here. Lake is just absolutely gorgeous tonight. Let's go ahead and, and take it down there. It's absolutely picturesque tonight. It is very humid tonight. Very, very humid. I'm getting out here tonight because we're probably going to get some rain this weekend with the uh, hurricane um, hitting the, uh, doing the outskirts of the east coast of Florida. We'll probably end up getting some rain, so. Very, very good. Okay, we have a loss of signal here. Which was very interesting because I've never had that happen before. It's, now we have it happen again here. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and, and bring her back here. So I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm hoping we uh, can return home here because I'm getting nothing on the screen right now, folks. There we are. And we are coming back home. Should be getting some good video on this feed here, too. That was bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. These bugs are insane tonight. Well, the first two clips have shown that there was some type of an issue when I was flying towards that end of the lake. So what I decided to do upon some advice from some people in the, in the group was to try a higher altitude. So this third flight, I was flying at 200 feet. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Okay, we are good to go. We have 11 satellites. We should be good here. It's pretty calm today, so let's let it do its thing. It's right at 13.4 feet right now. I'm sorry, I did not record the takeoff on my Osmo Mobile, so. But we will get landings recorded here. Okay, what we're going to do is getting interference and flying over the one end of the lake here. So I think what we're going to do here is. Instead of at 100, we're going to go up to 200 feet today, see if that makes a difference. I'm going to stand here in the shade so I can actually see what's going on here. So let's get this up to 200. I'm going to hit record. Okay, and we are verified. We are recording. Okay, let's get it up to 200 feet. Twenty, hundred forty, hundred fifty, 
180, right at 200 feet. Okay. Like I said, we're going to go head out. And this end of the lake. And I've been having some issues with it disconnecting. So let's take a look and see here if this solves the problem. So let's take this out here. It is a gorgeous day out here. Absolutely gorgeous. So I got to stand completely in the shade in order even to see the screen. Okay, so far so good. Twelve hundred feet out, no problem at all with signal. Okay, there we are. We are disconnected at two hundred feet. Okay, and it is doing a fail-safe return right now. So that is a problem here. Okay, apparently unable to enter GPS mode. Let's it's in VPU, so see what's going on here. Poor GPS signal, the drone. Okay, let's See if we can get it back here, folks. Unable to enter GPS mode. I have 12 satellites. I should be in GPS mode, but I'm not. Derek, can you come out here, please? Sure. I need your help in being a spotter here for me, please. Supposedly 500 feet out. Two hundred feet out. Oh, I hear it. Okay. I see it. Okay. I'm gonna get it down. It's over the houses over this side over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and back things up here a little bit. Right there. Okay, because I'm not getting any. You have to land it manually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to land. I'm not even getting any, any um, signal with the okay. with the camera we'll just right now. Okay. Let's bring it over this way. That's what I'm trying to do. It looks like it's staying in the same position. Okay, now I'm, I hit return to home, and it does have GPS, so um, looks like I'm getting that here now. Yeah, it's moving this way. It's right there. there. What is, which drone is that? Uh, this is a Femi X8SE 2020.
Now the fourth and final clip, what I did was, again under some advice from someone in the group, I went ahead and I attached my MAV mount to the Femi X8 SE 2020 controller and I used a USB cable, that, a spare USB cable that I have to attach the controller to the phone and it was a secure connection. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. I want to show everyone what I did here was um, using a new cable on this and more a different cable to see if this is causing the issues with telemetry and I'm and I'm using a Mav mount that I've been using on on my DJI drones so let's see if this makes a difference here okay, we're using the Mav mount here let's see if this makes a difference Get up to 13.1 feet. I'll let it loiter for a minute here. Make sure it locks in on that home point nice and good. All right, we're going to take this up to 100 feet here. Okay, we are at 100, so let's go ahead and orient the aircraft over to the other end of the lake here. Okay, we are recording video. Get that oriented towards that end of the lake there. Okay, well, let's see if we have a loss of signal here. I hope we're going to be good. So, make sure we're recording. Adjust the pitch of that gimbal a little bit, get it up. There we go. Usually happens at about a thousand feet, so let's take a look here and see. Okay, we're at 900 feet right now. Still a good signal. Hit a thousand, we still have a good signal. I think apparently looking pretty good here. 1200 still a good signal. I'm still I'm getting returned to home. Um, so evidently, yeah, this is definitely a issue. I'm gonna be having to email Femi on this. I noticed some flutter there with the uh, and there's the disconnect symbol. I just hit return to home. So let's see uh, where we're at. Yeah, it is coming home. I do show the feet decreasing here. So we definitely have a problem here. I thought that maybe using this cable would make a difference, but it does not make a difference. Okay, we should be overhead here. Any second now, and we are. Let's go ahead and adjust that gimbal.
you did see fail safe return come up. Continuing on, eventually what would happen is I would get FPV would be blacked out and then after I would regain it, I would go ahead and hit return to home. Now on one of those, it was having a hard time acquiring a GPS lock. It finally did and every single time the Femi X8 SE 2020 came home. I will be emailing this video and contacting Femi support to see if there's anything that can be done regarding this. Question of the day, have you had this kind of problem with the Femi X8 SE 2020? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly.